By the end of the decade, Hollywood movie making had become a financial juggernaut. In April of 1919, four of Hollywood's biggest players, Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks, and D.W. Griffith, formed the United Artists Corporation to produce and distribute their own films. Despite the repercussions of the war, the German film industry was also booming, and with this boom came the rise of a new cinematic style, German Expressionism. Robert Wien's classic, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, was the first film to incorporate the expressionist style on celluloid. The fantastic use of costume and setting offset the realism of classic Hollywood and ushered in a new wave of filmmaking. Meanwhile, a new form of cinema arose in France as well. Unlike the films of German Expressionism, cinema born out of the French Impressionist movement was more concerned with stimulating the emotions of the spectator and utilizing new innovations in camera work to depict the subjectivity of character more intimately. Filmmaker Abel Gantz was a master of this technique and soon became internationally renowned as an auteur of the Impressionistic style. Like German Expressionism, the French Impressionism movement was short-lived, and by the end of the 1920s, both cinematic forms had become a part of the past. However, despite their decline, the contributions of these forms to the development of film as an art remain timeless. <laughs>